Okay. Um, my name is Omar Arverena. I've been teaching for, this is my 18th year teaching. Um, I've been teaching math and science since I started, and that was at my request. Um, my major was in chemistry, but I also, originally my intention was to study math, and at some point it got very abstract for me, so I decided to switch to chemistry. Some people don't find much difference in the two, but for me, uh, I, I found chemistry more approachable. Um, so when I started working, I, I requested that I wanted to teach both because that's what I enjoy um, a, a great deal. I, I began, I think, my path into teaching when I was in elementary school, actually. Um, after I moved to the U.S., I had really great elementary school teachers for fifth and sixth grade. And at one of those points, um, one of the teachers, my fifth grade teacher, recommended me to be a tutor for second graders. So I used to be pulled out of class um, to go tutor second graders. And actually, one of the interesting things is that I got sent to a classroom where one of my cousins was, and he needed help. And, I, and accidentally, I was, I was paired up with him to be his tutor. And since then, um, I enjoy teaching. Um, and I continue tutoring through middle school, um, through high school. Um, college, I didn't know that teaching was going to be my profession of choice, um, but in college I was involved with the Upper Bound, Harry Mudd College Upper Bound program. Um, I, at that time, it was run by uh, a guy named Jim Sullivan, and he's probably one of the people that I learned the most from about education. I, at some points, I feel like I probably learned a lot more from him um, about the classroom and the student needs and how to approach um, their needs and how to interact with them um, than I did in actually um, through my education classes. Um, when I got to my education classes, I already had the, exp the, the fortune of having had met Jim for about three years. I felt like I already had some background on, on education. Um, in the summers, I used to work with Upper Bound. I was a tutor. Um, during the, the academic year, I was also a tutor. I was a tutor at one of the, one of the, the school where I now teach, which is Bassett High School. Um, I used to tutor during the academic year. And once I graduated, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. And one of the students who used to be in the Upper Bound program told me about an opening at Bassett High School, um, that they needed a, a, a chemistry teacher and I decided to apply my first year there. And it was a difficult year because I didn't go through the credentialing program at that time. Teachers were allowed to go through an emergency credential. And um, it was a difficult year, but it was also uh, the year that I, I knew I enjoyed education, but I didn't know until I was in, in my actual classroom how much I wanted to be a teacher. So then I just, after the first year, I decided uh, I was going to continue teaching. I went back to uh, Claremont Graduate University to get my credential in math. Since I knew I could teach chemistry because of my degree, I wanted to make sure that I got my credential in math mathematics so that I could teach both math and science. Um, currently, I teach uh, AP chemistry. I started teaching chemistry. Um, we decided to open an AP, offer an AP chemistry course to the students. And in terms of math, I teach uh, whatever the school needs, um, um, algebra, from the lowest al uh, algebra class that we have um, up to the uh, algebra two currently, even though we're also switching into the integrated math classes right now. Um, one of the things that I do in my practice as a teacher, I, th I think, Sometimes I see, w one thing that worries me in teaching is that we're too concerned in trying to follow standards in a pacing guide, and, and we give two students tests, and then some students might fail a test, and, and we just, we tell us, oh, you failed, and then we keep moving on. And um, it's always bothered me because I think uh, if we go through those things and we test them, it, it's because they're important. 
And so one of the things that I try to do in my classroom is to uh, let my students know that this is actually important and it's not okay to, to not learn it and to, and to fail a test. So I make it a responsibility that one of the first things that they have to go back and together with their peers or with me, we have to look back at their test and see where were their mistakes. Um, because in the, as we continue through the course, there it, uh, or either future courses, they're gonna need that material. Um, so one of the first things is that we need to go back, even after the test, look at what their mistakes was. Um, I, if a student scored, didn't, if the, in the, on the assessment, if they didn't score very well, I, I make it mandatory that they come to tutoring. Sometimes um, if the students don't, at the beginning, when the students don't know me very well, it, it makes it a little bit, bit challenging. But I think once they see um, the reasons why I do it, which is uh, a lot of my students have goals of, of going to college, but they don't understand what it takes to go there. So many of them speak, I want to go here or I want to go there. Um, and some of them don't understand that they need more than just a desire. They also need to. And academically need to be able to prove that they will be able to succeed at that level. So I try to, to approach the need and explain to them this is why you need the tutoring, this is why it's important that you go back and relearn these things, this is why you need, need to do this to improve their grade. My goal is for them to improve their learning and for them, uh, a lot of them, they might not see the learning itself and they're more concerned about the actual letter grade. So, so it works. It's kind of like a win-win for me. I'm able to make them come to tutoring so they can actually get a better mastery of the material. And because they have come to tutoring, uh, usually uh, what I tell the students also, or what I do in my class, I don't just make them come to tutoring, they also get a chance to do a retest. Uh, so the tutoring is not just you have to learn it, and because you have to learn it, I also try to get them to buy into it, knowing that if you come to tutoring, you will improve. You, you won't get perfect, maybe, but you're gonna show improvement, and usually when they do come to tutoring and they do the retest, they, they're able to show improvement, and I think that once they see that, um, it's easier for me as the year progresses for, to, to encourage them to come in and to seek uh, assistance to get the help because they know that the, the ultimate goal and what we're trying to do is to help them understand the, in, in my case either mathematical concepts or the chemistry concepts um, so that they can prove um, through these assessments that they actually understand these materials so so I try to make it a point in my class that failure is is it's not an option in, in that just because they have in let's say a low grade or an F on the test, that doesn't mean it's, it's not set in stone. Like in my class, there's still a chance for them to, to, to go back, to improve on what they didn't know, and they get a second chance. One, actually, sometimes if I find it necessary just to try to motivate, keep motivating the student, maybe giving them a third chance at a retest. And then I actually don't do it only with my, uh, this kind of practice. I don't, Follow it only with students that fail. I open it up to any of my students. So if they had a C and they think uh, that their mistakes were very careless mistakes and that they they knew more than whatever their original test showed, um, uh, the C student or the B student is also able to come in for tutoring um, to continue learning, to continue practicing, and later they they can go back in and through a different test, demonstrate uh, how much they have improved. So that's one of the practices that I, that I follow in my classroom to, to try to uh, uh, address issues uh, of where the students haven't shown mastery uh, by the time that supposedly we're done with a, with a topic or a unit.